What's going on YouTube? This is Destiny Heroic um, and I've got a Vanguard box opening for you today. Um, I've decided I'm going to get into Vanguard so this is a series one that I'm going to open up here. Um, I'm also looking for a bit of feedback on uh, if you'd like to see more Vanguard on my channel. Um, I'd like to I'd like to know if you'd like to see games. I don't know if you call them duels in Vanguard or not. Uh, can, uh, duels on camera, that kind of thing. More box openings and such. So, uh, so I guess uh, just like this video if you want to see more Vanguard. Start things off with a double rare. That's a perfect guard. Those are a hot commodity in the Vanguard community. That's the Kagero one. So I think the stats for every box is similar to Yu-Gi-Oh. There's 30 packs in a box, and you get three triple rares. That's just a regular rare. I don't know all the names of everything yet, so let's not worry too much about that. sure anybody who is subscribed to my channel is watching this. Um, if you want anything, let me know on Facebook or through YouTube or Pojo or whatever it is. I'm not uh, trading on YouTube anymore, but uh, I am trading on Pojo, so uh, look me up on Pojo if you want to trade there. Uh, I go by the same name, Destiny Heroic. Uh, it's another double rare. It's Royal Paladin. Royal Paladins are the title character's deck, at least in the first season. FYI. That's a Grand Blue. So if anybody uh, is not into Vanguard yet or they don't know anything about it, uh, it's a pretty simple game to pick up. Um, you play 50 card decks. Um, and that includes your, what's called a starting vanguard. You choose a, one of these grade zero things to, uh, to start you off, and then you just play cards around it and on top of it. Um, I'm not gonna explain the rules. That's a bark gal. That's actually a, I know a guy who's looking for that. <laughs> this, is, this is Royal Paladin's best starter. It's actually banned as a starter in Japan. Vanguard has its own ban list. <laughs> We're not Japan, and we only have three sets so far, so we're not going to worry about it. It's 30 packs, so a box opening in Vanguard is probably going to take a little bit longer than a Yu-Gi-Oh! one. Yeah. There's a different foil for each level of rarity. There's also a special foil that you may or may not get in a box, which causes the value of a card to jump by about 150%. <laughs> Another title character card. That is a double rare. I think that's what the Kagero clan is supposed to start with, or something like that. Also, Vanguard packs are different than Yu-Gi-Oh. They're bigger, and they have this pull tab on the side here, so you can just peel it down and open it from the side. It's more of a, it's a very Japanese pack. <laughs> you only get five cards per pack, which isn't terrible. But you also get less crap. I suppose you could look at it that way. In Yu-Gi-Oh, how often is there more than one or two cards in a pack that you want? That is a triple rare. Oracle Think Tank. The 
one thing about Vanguard is that the, the names of the characters are really, really stupid in most cases. Battle Riser. I know a guy looking for that. Tyrant Death Rex. Yes, there are dinosaurs in Vanguard. Deck construction in Vanguard is a whole lot simpler than in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, you typically build it around a, a theme, not, not a theme, a clan, which is the, uh, the colored portion of the card that lists the clan. And typically clans all have some particular stratagem that they're supposed to work around. And some of the clans have, uh, can do, they've been out longer, they can do different things. Like Royal Paladins, I think there's like two, maybe even three different versions of the game, of the, of the deck. I'm not going to explain what they all do, because I actually don't know what they all do. I'm building a deck called Gold Paladins, and unfortunately there are no Gold Paladins in the first set. But I'm also interested in putting together the Royal Paladin deck, which is the first and second sets. So another one of those. Is that the same one as before? I don't think it was. Again, uh, like this video if you want to see more Vanguard. A bunch of my pe of a uh, bunch of the people I know locally are starting to get into it. Yu-Gi-Oh is getting to be kind of dull these days. And if Vanguard ever picks up as a tournament level game around here, then it's good to be prepared. I do trade in Vanguard, so uh, check out my Hojo thread. I'll list my current one in when I upload this video, but uh, keep checking back because it does change. I'm not going to organize these or anything. Oh, I think I got a special rare in this pack. That is an SP CEO Amaterasu. That's the key card in the Oracle Think Tank. Uh, I think I know some people who would fall over themselves to get their hands on that. This in Vanguard, this type of rarity, it's, it's the, the cards list the rarity in the bottom left corner. Uh, this one's an SP, and normally it would be a triple rare, which is the equivalent of an ultra rare. When an ultra rare appears as an SP rare, it's the equivalent of a ghost. Um, in that you don't always get an SP in a box. So, and it also causes the value to shoot up by a lot. Usually it triples the value of the card. Which you wouldn't see in ghost rares. This is a double rare. Kagero monster. So that's the last pack. Um, this is just kind of a jumble. Let me see if I can sift through and find the rares. So that's a rare, rare, double rare, rare, double rare, double rare, rare, SP, rare, 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 triple rare, 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 double rare, 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 triple rare, 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 double rare, 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 rare. Okay, so the way this worked out is I got two triple rares and an SP. Um, 
this is actually the first box I've opened that had an SP in it. So I guess what happens is the SP will re replace whatever the equivalent card was. So if I get an SP of a triple rare, it replaces the third triple rare that I get in the box. Uh, the only other SP I've gotten in a box was a was of a double rare, and I don't know what the proportions of double rares in a box is. But uh, yeah, so that's the box. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see uh, more Vanguard. Uh, like this video. I don't know. Go for, I don't know, 20, 30 likes, I guess, if you want to see more Vanguard. Uh, I can post duels and maybe deck profiles and stuff like that, in addition to my Yu-Gi-Oh. So uh, if you want to trade any of this stuff, I'll post the link to my Pojo thread down below. Peace.